Tova, Anyada Buena, Aguta Yor. These are some of the Jewish languages from around the world that we can use to say we wish you a happy, happy new year. We pray that you and everybody you love are sealed for blessing in this new year of 5782 from all of us at CBST, the synagogue for people of all gender identities, all sexual orientations, and LGBTQ. Jewish community. I'm Rabbi Yael Rapport, and I'm so glad that you've all come to share in CBST's online Rosh Hashanah services. Thank you to all of our babies, young children, tiny people everywhere who have brought your grown-ups along to celebrate with us this morning. We created this Rosh Hashanah service this morning, especially for our youngest Jews, to be shared with all the members of your families of origin and of choice, to experience at home together all over the country and all over the world. We'll sing, we'll pray, we'll tell some stories led by our amazing song leader, Stephen Figura Smith, who many of you know from our ongoing Aleph Bet Shabbatot, where you can watch them online and sing and dance and snuggle along. I also want to introduce our magnificent Zoom technician, Rosemary Minkler. Can everybody wave? Hi, Rosemary behind the CBST tech sign. We are so, so grateful to Rose who keeps us Zooming along. And if you ever have any technical difficulties or questions, we made a special tech line to support people during this holiday season to make sure everybody can come to services. And you can always, always put questions into the chat. Chat questions will be answered by our brilliant song leader, Rachel Chang, who has worked with our Limud program, our special religious school program here at CBST, and by the incredible Jennifer Kleinbaum, the principal of our Limud program and the head of all of our Families with Children's programs at CBST. So snuggle up and sing along. We pray that you and your families know health, happiness, justice, and peace for us and for all the world. Shana Tova Umetuka, a happy and a sweet new year, everybody.
Thank you, Rabbi Rapport, for that beautiful welcome. And Shana Tova, everybody. I'm Stephen, and I'm so happy to be here celebrating and bringing in the new year on this beautiful Rosh Hashanah morning with you. So let's start off by wishing each other shalom, peace and wholeness. For our shalom song, we're gonna use American Sign Language, which is a language that was invented by and for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. And we're gonna learn three words in American Sign Language for our shalom song. And later in the service, we're also going to uh, watch the Shema in ASL as well. <clears throat> So the very first word that we're gonna learn is the word for Shema. We're gonna take our hands and pat them together two times like this and bring them down. That's peace, I'm sorry, the word for Shalom, for peace. Just like that. The second word we're gonna learn is the word for roam or well, like to wander around, to roam. Take your finger and put it up to your screen, just like that. And the last word we're gonna learn is the word for home. We're gonna pair our fingers like this and bring it right back to our ear from our side of our lips back to our ear. Try it out with me. sha la 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 sha sha la 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 sha We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. sha la 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 sha Shalom to all the five-year-olds. Shalom to all the four-year-olds. Shalom to the three-year-olds. Shalom. Shalom to the two-year-olds. Shalom to the one-year-olds. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the one-year-olds. Shalom if you're less than one. Shalom if you're older than five. Shalom. Shalom to the grown-ups too. Shalom to our families. Shalom la 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 shalom. We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. Shalom la 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 shalom. Shalom, peace and wholeness on this new year. Now, as we create and enter into this sacred time and space together, we're going to sing the prayer Ma Tovu. It's a prayer about recognizing, acknowledging sacred, special places that we're in. And I want to invite all of you to also feel and connect to the sacredness of the place that you're in right now. Do you know who is indigenous to the land that you're on? Let's acknowledge the original people of all of the places where we might be watching from. In CBST's physical location, as well as where I am right now on Long Island, we're in Lenape territory. If you know who is indigenous to the land that you're on, you can type it into the chat and feel free to insert the name of that people into our land acknowledgement which we'll sing as a part of our Matobu prayer. Now let's sway back and forth, feel the rhythm of the earth spinning, feel the connection of your body to the earth below you. Matobu, oh halecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha, the ground rise up to sit or stand the land we are on is Lenape land reach down and touch the ground rise up to sing in chorus 
We honor the Lenape people here now and before us. Clap your hands. This is Lenape land. And stomp where you stand. That is Lenape land. Clap your hands. This is Lenape land. And stomp where you stand. That is Lenape land. And the land that we are on today is a whole year older than it was before. So on the new year, when the world is one year older, we say Shana Tova Umetuka, a sweet and a happy new year. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new year. On Rosh Hashanah, I cheer. It's a brand new year. Clap your hands for the new year. Let's clap our hands for the new year. On Rosh Hashanah, I cheer. It's a brand new year. Shana Tova Umetuka, Shana Tova Umetuka, Shana Tova Umetuka, have a sweet new year, have a sweet new year, have a sweet new year, Shana Tova Umetuka, have a sweet new year. Let's say thank you for this new year and take a minute to think about what other things we have to be thankful for. In Hebrew, we say thank you. Toda, toda raba, thank you very much. This next song comes from the Igbo community of Nigeria. And in it, we sing Toda raba Adonai, thanking God for all the good things that we have. And in this song, when we get to the middle part of the song, I'm gonna invite everybody to unmute themselves and shout out something that you're thankful for today. You can also find something to drum on. Keep this beat with me. You can drum on your tables, your chairs, your floors, your bellies. creation of the world, which we remember on today, the birthday of the world. Did you know that Rosh Hashanah is the birthday of the world? It is. And so let's take a minute to think about how the world was created. Rabbi Rapport is going to read us a book that's going to help us think about who, about who God is, how God created the world, and how we can help continue the work of creating the world together with God. I want you to so on this Rosh Hashanah, I am very, very thankful for books. 
Who else likes books? I love books. The Jewish people are called the people of the book. And we recognize that all around the world, since the beginning of humanity, we have loved, loved, loved to tell stories. And we are so grateful for the invention of a way to put them down so that we can tell the same stories over and over again from generation to generation. On this Rosh Hashanah, I am also really grateful for role models. A role model is a person who does something wonderful that makes you think and makes you think maybe I can do that too. And so this book is written by one of my very favorite role models, Rabbi Sandy Sasso. Rabbi Sasso was one of the very first female identified people, one of the very first women to become a rabbi in the entire world. And she was a role model for my mom who became a rabbi and for me who became a rabbi. This book is what the grownups would call a throwback. This is not a very new book, but it is a beautiful book. And like some of our favorite books and our favorite stories, it's true every single year. So maybe some of the grownups in the room remember this book. Maybe they read it to somebody or it was read to them. And this year we pass on the tradition of reading this beautiful story about God and the world called God's Paintbrush. We're going to be sharing the pictures on the screen. And if you like, we can also put into the chat the name of the book if you want your very own copy to read as an actual physical book or on an iPad or other reading device. This book is called God's Paintbrush by Rabbi Sandy Sasso. Sometimes I think the clouds are made of white balls of cotton yarn, God's way of painting pictures in the sky. And then a big wind comes and blows the pictures away like a giant eraser. A sunbeam peeked through my window this morning and painted a rainbow on my wall. I think the sunbeam is God's paintbrush dipped in a watercolor sea, painting clouds and coloring our world. What color would you paint the world today? What is your favorite color or what is your favorite combination of colors that you would make the entire world today? Put into the chat or maybe find an emoji that that same color. Yellow. Sky blue and all colors of blue, pink, orange. Lots of votes for pink. We love pink. Tybee says blue, that's surprising. Ooh, I'm seeing some red hearts and some red and blue friends. Green, a red backpack, gold and sparkly. That sounds amazing. All the colors, including pink and red and purple and rainbows and unicorns. Unicorns have many excellent colors in them. Keep those colors coming. We'd love to paint the world with all sorts of glittery, gorgeous colors. And Stephen has an idea for us about being able to find these colors all around us. Yes, and if you're near a window right now, you could even look out your window and see what colors you can see out your window. Out of my window right now, I see a wall and it's a pink wall. There's a wall outside my window. It's as pink as pink can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window. As pink as pink can be. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. What colors do you see out of your window or anywhere in your room? If you want to take yourself off of mute and tell me what you see, you can do that right now. Something else I can see out of my window is a white cloud. 
Ooh, I saw green leaves in the chat too. Ooh, there's leaves outside my window. They're as green as green can be. Outside my window, as green as green can be. Blue as so this blue sky. Blue sky. There's spots outside my window. They're as blue as blue can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window. As blue as blue can be. And brown buildings. There's brown buildings. There's little butterfly bush. They're as brown as brown can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window. As brown as brown can be. There's a slide outside my window. It's as red as red can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window. Red as red can be rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow round me. Yeah, I'm listening. Red light. Red lights. There's lights outside my window. There is red as red can be, fiddle dee dee outside my window, as red as red can be. There's so many good things in the chat. Let's choose one more. I see a purple butterfly bush. There's a purple butterfly bush outside my window. It's as purple as purple can be. Fiddle dee dee outside my window. As purple as purple can be. Can you draw a rainbow in the air? Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow around me. see what happens next in the book. Are we ready? Are we ready to find out what happens next? Yesterday, our class played kickball. I fell while running to first base and scraped my knee. It hurt, but the school nurse put a bandage over the scrape and in a few days, it was all better. Last month, my best friend had to move away. I was sad, I hurt inside. My dad said we can visit in the summer and we can write letters or call on the telephone and we miss each other a lot. What my dad said made me feel better, but when I think of my best friend far away, I still hurt a little. I wonder if God hurts and what might help God feel better. Maybe I could be God's friend. What do you think makes God hurt? How can you be God's friend? Maybe if you could whisper to somebody who's sitting with you, what makes you feel better when you hurt? You can put it in the chat if you'd like to share, or you can just keep it a secret with the people who are with you in the room. But what makes you feel better? Can you see that? Can you see the hug? Can you see? Can you give a hug. A hug. Give him a hug. A lot of people agree with hugs. A kiss. A kiss. Yeah. I see ice also makes some people feel better. That's good to put on a boo-boo or to, to suck on to calm yourself down. What else do we see? Being with my family. Band-aids, especially band-aids with cool things on them. They always make me feel better. And it might not be this on the same subject, but I see somebody has a rainbow shirt. And I wonder if putting on your favorite family. shirt makes you feel better. Daddy makes Rachel and Maisie and Tybee feel better. Me too. Oh, we agree. And candy and songs. These are all really good ways to feel better. Watching baseball. Stuffies. Oopsie. That's okay. I got it. Saying oopsie sometimes helps us feel better. At least we know something went oops. My real dog, Rosa, my bunny toy, my blankie, and ukuleles. Ukuleles also make me feel better. I think in that spirit of making us feel better, we can sing a song. Music feels, makes me feel better, whether or not it is played on a ukulele. 
And we can think about when God is hurting, or maybe when the earth is hurting, what are the ways that we can make God and the earth feel better? And everyone who lives here, what are the things that make us feel better that we can give to everybody, whether that's beautiful music or lots of hugs or band-aids with cool patterns on them? What are the things that we can do to heal our earth, Adama, and our heavens, Shamayim? Thank you, Rabbi Rapor. I agree. I think one thing that makes God hurt is when the earth is hurting. And one way that we can be God's friend is by loving the earth and taking care of it. So we're going to sing a song, Adama, that means earth, and the Shamayim, and the heavens, or and the sky. And you can follow along with me and Rabbi Rapor as we do our emotions. This is a call and response. That means first it's my turn, and then you repeat after me. Adama. Adama. Vishamayim. Vishamayim. Chom ha'esh. Chom ha'esh. Seal ha'mayim. Seal ha'mayim. I can feel it in my body, in my spirit, in my soul. Lai 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 Do it in English. Love the earth. Love the earth. Love the sky. Love the sky. Heat of fire. Heat of fire. Drop of water. Drop of water. I can feel it in my body, in my spirit in my soul sometimes what we need to feel better is just some rest some rest, maybe a nap, some time to let our bodies and our souls heal. And something that we do that's really special in Judaism every seven years is called the Shemitah year. Can you say Shemitah? And the Shemitah year is a time when we let the earth rest. We want to let the earth take a nap. And so I'd like to invite everybody to find something in your room that helps you feel restful, something that helps you feel cozy and snuggly. Can you take one minute to find something that helps you feel cozy and snuggly? And then we're gonna sing a lullaby to the earth and let the earth rest and take a nap for the Shemitah year. Have this really soft blue dinosaur. It's so soft and snuggly. If you want to hold whatever you found up to your screen and let us all see it. And if you want to, everyone, if you want to for a minute, put your um, computer on gallery mode, switch from speaker to gallery mode so you can see everybody's soft, snuggly thing. Don't forget to switch back to speaker mode after the song. We're gonna sing. This song is like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's not about a star, it's about the earth. Spinning, spinning, great big earth. Each new year we recall your birth on the Shemitah year. May you rest to be reborn your very best. 
spinning, spinning, great big earth. Each new year we recall your birth. Do you want to just hum with me? Spinning, spinning, great big earth. Each new year we recall your birth. Thank you for singing the earth a lullaby with me and helping the earth take a rest for this special year, the Shemitah year that we're starting today. Now don't forget to put your screens back onto speaker mode so that we can all see the next page in our book. Here we go. What will we learn about God and the earth next? My class went on a hike the other day. We climbed to the top of a mountain and I shouted, hello. And I heard a voice call back, hello. It sounded just like my voice, only far away. My teacher said the sound I heard was an echo. It was fun to hear our own voices. We kept calling out and the sound from space kept calling back. I wonder what God's voice sounds like. Is it deep and gruff? Is it soft and gentle? Is it loud? Is it quiet? I think God keeps calling out and maybe we are the sound that calls back. Maybe people are God's echo. How are you God's echo? What does God call us to do? My mom and I went shopping in the city and there in the middle of a crowded department store was a little boy. He was alone and crying. My mom held his hands in hers and took him to a clerk who worked at the store. The clerk made an announcement over the loudspeaker saying, a little boy was lost. Before long, his mom came and gave him a great big hug. My mom hugged me too, I'm not sure why. One of the things I like about my mom is her hands. When I was just a baby, my mom says her hands rocked the cradle so I wouldn't cry. I wonder if God's hands rock the world. And so I wonder what you wonder about. Do you ever wonder what God's voice might sound like? Or maybe the feeling of God's hands? Maybe it sounds just like you, like an echo. Maybe it sounds totally different. Think for just a minute and imagine what is one sound that you think might be the sound of God's voice? Maybe it's the sound of ocean waves. Or maybe it's when you can hear music from somebody else's apartment or a car that's going by. Maybe God's voice sounds like beep, beep. Maybe God's voice is a very quiet whisper. And we remember that we have five senses to communicate with the world. We don't just experience the world through listening and through hearing. We also can experience God's voice by what we feel, by what we smell and what we taste and what we see. So when we recite our prayer for listening, which is called Shema, which in Hebrew mostly means listen, like with your ears, but it also has this feeling of concentrate, focus. Maybe God's voice is the sound of everything. And so it's even more important for us to be able to really focus and pay attention. When we recite the Shema together, we are going to sing it. We are going to hear it 
and say it and remind ourselves, listen, listen, listen. But we're also going to use American Sign Language so that we can see this language. And in ASL, when we use the Hebrew word Shema, we don't just use listen, we use focus, which is the sign for concentrate. So you're going to see some students in our Hebrew school program, our Limud B'Shabbat program, who learned this version of the Shema in ASL from Rabbi Darby Lee, who's a rabbi we love very much, who grew up at CBST. And they're going to share the signs for the Shema. If you know it already, or if you pick it up really quick, you can do the signs along with them. And Stephen is also going to play it with beautiful, beautiful music. So we can use many, many of our senses to focus on this prayer. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema, listen. When we listen with our ears, with our heart, with our bodies, with our souls, maybe we can hear the instructions of what we need to do to help God keep building a better world, a world that is safer and healthier and more fair for everybody in it. And Psalm 89, we're told, Olam Chesed Yibane, God builds the world from kindness, from Chesed, loving kindness. I wonder what you would use to build a better world. Would you use kindness? Would you use blocks? Would you use smiles? What are your ideas? Let's sing together. Olam chesed ibane, yadadai, yadadai, rai, rai. Olam chesed ibane, yadadai, yadadai, rai, rai. Olam chesed ibane, yadadai, yadadai. I will build this world from love. And you must build this world from love. And if we build this world from love, then God will build this world from love. I'm going to open up my chat because I think I saw some people writing what they would build the world with. Oh, Dora says love, just like our song. That's wonderful, Dora. What else would you use to build a better world? Lindsay says blocks. Lindsay's family says blocks. And peace and family and unicorns and smiles. 
I will build this world from unicorns. Yada da, yada da, da da. And you must build this world from unicorns. Yada da, yada da, da da. And if we build this world from unicorns, yada da, yada da, da da. Then God will build this world from unicorns. Yada da, yada da, da da. Oh, so many wonderful, delicious ideas here. I see justice. I see family. I will build this world from family. Yada da, yada da, da da. And you must build this world from family. Yada da, yada da, da da. And if we build this world from family, yada da, yada da, da da. Then God will build this world from family. Yada da, yada da, da da. Well, you know all of the wonderful things you said. They're all included in Chesed. Chesed is all of those things. So let's say, Olam Chesed Yibane one more time. Olam Chesed Yibane. Yada da, yada da, da da. Olam Chesed Yibane. Yada da, yada da, da da. Olam Chesed Yibane. What excellent, excellent ideas of all of these wonderful things to build the world with. The world will be a better place when we build it with more bunnies, more daddies, more being healthy, more justice, more dresses and princesses, more people more crowns and food and smiles. And one of my very favorite suggestions was that we can build the world with music and dance. And it will be a world of more love and more kindness if we build it out of music and dance. Let's see what our story has to say. The world revolves around the sun the planets spin far out in space, stars sparkle and meteors shoot light through the sky. I think they are God's dance, God's way of keeping the world turning. When I help a friend, when I make someone smile, I think I am part of God's dance. Can you dance God's dance? What would it look like? What are your favorite dance moves that you think have to be in God's dance? Can you spin like the planets? Can you wave your hands up in the air and down to the earth like Adaman Shamaim? Can you do an extra cool dance move that nobody else can do? We wanna see it and we have the perfect song for you to do it to. All right, everyone, let's get up and show each other those awesome dance moves. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. Oh, Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands. I wanna twirl around. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands and twirl around. I'm so glad the Rosh Hashanah is here. 
Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands and twirl around and wave my arms. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands, twirl around and wave my arms. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands, twirl around, wave my arms and jump up and down. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna clap my hands, twirl around, wave my arms and jump up and down. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here, Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna do a silly dance and jump up and down, wave my arms, twirl around and clap my hands. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. I wanna do a silly dance, jump up and down, wave my arms, Twirl around and clap my hands. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. Rosh Hashanah is here. I'm so glad that Rosh Hashanah is here. Wow, everyone, those were so those are such awesome dance moves, everybody. And just like we add a new dance move every time we move through the chorus, just like every time we celebrate Shabbat, we recognize another week is complete. And every year when we celebrate Rosh Hashanah, we think about how like in a tree, the rings keep growing and growing with every year. Every year that passes, we move through time, even as we repeat some of our very, very favorite Jewish holidays and traditions. And every year we continue to grow and change. In this next part of the book, we think about all of the different ways that we can feel change in ourselves and in the life of the world. My tooth fell out last night. My parents said that it was in order to make room for my new one. I didn't really like losing it, even though I found a dollar under my pillow in its place. I wonder if trees mind losing their leaves in the fall or if the snow minds when it melts to make room for the spring. I think God paints the leaves bright colors in the fall and makes the sun warm in the spring because God likes changes. God likes the world to grow. How are you changing? How are you growing? Can you think of one sign, one thing that happened in the past year that made you realize that you were growing? Did anything happen in your body or did anything happen in the world or something exciting about to happen, like starting with a new class in school, going to a new camp or having traveled somewhere new? You can whisper this blessing, this exciting and maybe scary and maybe big or maybe teeny tiny change that let you know that you were growing. We've got lots of lost teeth making way for new grown up teeth, which is very exciting. Going to school is very, very, very exciting. Having a birthday is the best. That's why we wanted to make a special birthday for the whole earth because we know how much we love birthdays. Being nicer to our families, whether that's our siblings or our parents, being nicer is a great sign that we are growing and we are trying to make the world a nicer place. Doing new things, 
maybe like going to kindergarten. That's a big new thing. Growing out of our clothes is a sign that we are growing up. It's absolutely true. Going to school, getting new clothes. All of these are wonderful, wonderful blessings. And every time we say a blessing for something new, we say a special blessing in Hebrew called shehecheyanu, which means thank you, God. Thank you for this new thing. And thank you for helping me be here for this new thing. Thank you for letting me reach the moment where I learn how to ride a scooter. Or thanks for giving me the courage and the support to go to a new big kid school. We say thank you, God, both for the new thing and for keeping me going and for keeping the world going so that I can experience this new thing and thank you in return. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech haolam Shehechianu v'kimanu V'higianu Lazman everybody for being here and for helping us to celebrate this exciting brand new thing of a new year 5782 years that we've been counting that the world has continued to grow and change and so to make sure we have enough time in our day to get on to all the other new things that might be waiting for us we're going to finish the book and then we're going to sing a couple more songs Sometimes on a bright day, when I close my eyes really, really tightly, I see all kinds of colors, green and purple and red and blue. I think these are just like God's colors. I know God's colors are in me too. And I can paint with God's paintbrush. So have you had that experience? You know, you close your eyes really tight and you can see patterns and colors behind your eyes with them closed. I'm seeing purple and red and green. What do you see when you close your eyes really tight? What kind of patterns or colors come out? We are almost, almost done with our Rosh Hashanah service this morning. It's really exciting and it's also a teeny bit sad, but don't worry because we have lots of wonderful things that are in store for us coming up for the rest of Rosh Hashanah and for the rest of the year. So I wanted to invite Jennifer Kleinbaum and maybe a special guest. Hi, Acadia. <laughs> Hi. To tell us a little bit more about what's coming up for CBST and for anybody who wants to come and hang out with us. Thank you, Rabbi Rapport, for conducting such an amazing service. And thank you, Stephen. Um, we're going to get to see both of you all year. Um, so the first thing I want to tell everybody about is that all year long, starting on October 9th, every, uh, twice a month, we're gonna be having Aleph Bet Shabbat with Stephen, and we're going to be able to sing songs and get together and see each other and really you know, have a good time and jump around. This has been really great, Stephen. Thank you so much. And we're also gonna be, we're gonna do that all the way through Pride at the end of June. So that's for the whole year. Tomorrow for the second day of Rosh Hashanah, we're gonna meet right here again at nine o'clock and all of you should have the Zoom link inside the same email that you use to get here. So hopefully you'll be able to find it. And if not, we're gonna send you another email at six o'clock tomorrow morning, not to worry. Um, if you're wondering, is CBST the right place for my child, for my family to come and participate in Jewish education 
I want to tell you the answer is a blanket yes. Everybody is welcome. We have families with two mommies, families with two daddies, even families with a mommy and a daddy, families, families with grandparents and aunts and uncles. And we really, really welcome you with open arms, um, no matter what your Jewish background might be. You don't have to read Hebrew. Um, but we want to make sure that you are comfortable and that we can meet your children wherever they are. So I hope that we'll get to see you tomorrow. And I hope that we'll get to see you on October 9th at our first Aleph Bet Shabbat for the year. And I want to say, have a good and sweet new year. Shana Tova, Jennifer, Shana Tova, Acadia. What are some of the most important things that remind us that it's Rosh Hashanah? I think number one, number one, is that we all come together, whether that is through computers or in person or standing at the riverside to throw in birdseed for Tashlich. And Anna in the chat, read my mind one of the very most important things that we do to know in our bodies and in our souls that it is Rosh Hashanah is to hear a special sound. And I would make you guess, but Anna already knew the answer to this important Jewish question. What is the special sound that lets us know that something important is happening? It's one of our very oldest Jewish instruments and maybe one of the oldest musical instruments in the entire world, the shofar horn. And so we wanted to make sure that everybody here got to hear the sound of the shofar, the great tikiyah gedola, which means the big long sound. And if you would like to get more shofar, there's going to be an entire series of shofar blasts in the grown-up service, we estimate that this will happen around 11.30 a.m., but everybody, everybody gets to hear a tikiagadola. So here is your warning. This is a big noise. It's only as big as your computer volume makes it. So if you don't like big noises, you can turn the computer volume down or you can cover your ears. But we have several extremely talented members of our synagogue of CBSD who are really, really good at sounding shofar. And you'll see all of them on the screen. And I want you to guess who can sound shofar the longest? Who will be the last shofar standing? And if you can, try to hold your breath as soon as you hear the sound and see if you can hold your breath for as long as the shofar blast lasts. Are we ready? Okay, Rosemary, let's hear some shofar. Did anybody guess that Janet would be the longest sound? I only lasted until Eli. Did anybody hold their breath the whole time that Janet made the shofar blast? I see some raised hands. I want to assure all the grown-ups in the Zoom room there was no video editing. That's really as long as the sound went. And we are seeing in the chat lots of Yasher Goach. That was done with very great strength. And what do we say after we hear the sound of the shofar? We say a sweet and a happy new year. And this time we're gonna say it in Ladino, which is the Jewish language of Sephardic Jewry. And it has elements of Spanish, and Portuguese and Hebrew in it. And so we say, Anyara Buena. 
a good year. May your year be sweet, como la miel. As sweet as honey. May you hear the shofar, que te desperte el. Let it awaken you. Añada buena, dulce y alegre. A good year, sweet and happy. Seas bendicho, seas contente. May you be blessed. May you be content. Seas bendicho, seas contente. Sweet and happy new year to you all. Thank you so much for joining us. It was so wonderful to have all of your smiling, happy faces, see your singing and dancing, hear all of your amazing ideas, your answers to all of the questions that we asked today. And I can't wait to see you all later in the year. Um, so I hope that you come participate in some more CBST programs later on this year, and I'll get to see you again. But for now, it's time for us to say shalom. So we're going to say it the same way that we started. We're going to really quickly. I just want to thank everybody for attending our cutest service of the entire year. Unquestionably, this is the cutest. If you can, you want more Rosh Hashanah, we are moving at 10 a.m. in one minute. We're going to start services for six to 12 year olds. Everybody's invited. Everybody is welcome. Grown up services are going all day long until about 2 p.m. And see you here 9 a.m. tomorrow for day two of Rosh Hashanah. Shalom, shalom, everybody. We're really glad that you came. Shalom. Thank you for those reminders, Rabbi Report, and thank you for reading the beautiful book and sharing that with us. Thank you for all of your wisdom. Our book tomorrow, our book tomorrow is even more exciting. It's called, What Are Your Words? <laughs> and we're going to talk all about pronouns. Yay, pronouns! And thank you, Rosemary, for handling all of our tech behind the scenes. And now it's time for us to say shalom to each other. Sha la 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 shalom. Sha la 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 shalom. We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. Sha la 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 shalom. Shalom and Shana Tova.